Hi, I'm Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty Science. Today we're going to be talking about collagen supplements. If you're into beauty and skincare, you may have seen collagen supplements around. And you'll have seen claims like how taking collagen will smooth wrinkles, boost firmness, and make your skin more elastic. But do they really work? Since I have a PhD in medicinal chemistry, I needed to check out the evidence for myself. Here's what I found. Collagen is a protein, which means it's a long chain of amino acids chemically joined together. Collagen is an incredibly important protein that's part of what's called the extracellular matrix. This holds the cells in your body together. It's also found in bones, tendons, and tissue. In your skin, collagen lives in the lower layer called the dermis. It's important for giving your skin structure and elasticity, which translates to bouncy skin. As you get older, your body produces less collagen. It's estimated that skin collagen drops by about 1% per year. There's also a change in the types of collagen in your skin, so you end up with thin, wrinkly skin that's more prone to damage. Damage from the environment can also destroy collagen. Sun exposure and smoking are especially harmful. That's why sun damaged skin looks older and sunscreen is so important. So logically, eating collagen could give your body the building blocks to make more collagen. Unfortunately, you have very little control over what your body does with the things you eat. Eating plants doesn't mean we end up green and able to photosynthesize and make food from sunshine. Eating a mirror ball won't make you glittery no matter how much you want to shine. Look at them shine. Look at them shine. Like I mentioned, collagen is a protein made up of lots of amino acids joined together. In your stomach and small intestine, you have enzymes that will break up proteins like collagen into smaller fragments so you can absorb them into your body. So most of the time when you eat a protein, it'll get broken up and your body won't be able to tell which protein you've eaten. But collagen has a special amino acid in it, hydroxyproline. In humans, hydroxyproline is only found in collagen. So when you eat collagen, you'll end up with hydroxyproline in your blood, so your body can tell you've eaten collagen. But does this do anything? There have been a bunch of studies where collagen supplements improve skin in mice and rats, and even pigs. It's also been found that after eating a collagen supplement, human volunteers have fragments of broken down collagen called prolol hydroxyproline in their blood. In vitro, prolol hydroxyproline fragments were found to make human skin cells grow faster and produce more hyaluronic acid, another component of the dermis. Hyaluronic acid keeps the water content in your skin high, which is also important for bouncy, unwrinkled skin. But the study doesn't tell us anything about whether the fragments get from the blood to the skin in high enough concentrations to actually do anything, which is sort of absolutely crucial to whether or not collagen supplements work. So does it work in actual people? Here's what the clinical trials have found so far. In one study by a supplement company, Volunteers took 5 grams of hydrolyzed collagen made from fish cartilage every day, along with other vitamins and minerals. After 60 days, dryness, wrinkles, and the depth of the nasolabial fold, that's the groove between your nose and cheek, improved. And after 12 weeks, collagen density and skin firmness also improved. But most parts of the trial didn't use a placebo control, so it isn't as reliable. And of course, there's the bias issue. In another study, volunteers took either a daily supplement containing 2.5 grams of collagen peptide or a placebo for 8 weeks. There were improvements in eye wrinkles as well as pro-collagen and elastin content of the dermis. The trial was run independently by a university. The same supplement also improved skin elasticity 4 weeks after the volunteers stopped taking the supplement. 10 grams of a daily collagen peptide supplement was found to improve skin hydration after 8 weeks and increase density and decrease fragmentation of collagen in the dermis after 4 weeks according to placebo-controlled trials run by the manufacturer.
So right now you're probably thinking that we should all immediately run out and eat all of the collagen supplements. But before you spend all your money, I have to burst your bubble a little bit with some inconvenient facts. One of the big issues with supplement studies is that they often use supplements that contain ingredients other than collagen as well. So you can't say for sure that it's collagen having the effect and not the other ingredients. For the non-placebo controlled trials, it could also be something else entirely causing the change. For collagen, it's particularly tricky because there are at least 28 types of collagen. Collagen is also made up of thousands of amino acids. Most studies use collagen that's been hydrolyzed or broken up, but as you can imagine with a chain that's thousands of amino acids long, you can break it up into different lengths. So a supplement with collagen that's a thousand amino acids long might not have the same effect as one that uses fragments that are 100 amino acids long, or 50 amino acids long, or 10 amino acids long. So even if a study finds a beneficial effect with one collagen supplement, it doesn't mean that a different collagen supplement will also work. If that's not enough, another issue is that a lot of these studies are done by companies who sell the supplements. So there's an obvious conflict of interest. It's unlikely that they'll publish data that show that there isn't any effect, and it's likely that they've massaged the results to look as good as possible. Here's the verdict. Collagen supplements are pretty promising and could potentially work, but the evidence is far from solid. Only a few collagen supplements have gotten good results in studies, and collagen supplements can be very different. And most of these studies were run by the companies that sell the collagen supplements, so they're likely to be biased. The results also don't really find that collagen supplements actually increase collagen and not just improve your skin through other methods like increasing hyaluronic acid or just indirectly changing your diet. For example, if you drink more collagen-based supplements, maybe it makes you eat less sugar because you're full from the water and it's actually the lower sugar that improves your skin. If you have the budget, there isn't much harm in trying collagen supplements as long as you don't have an allergy. But if you want the best bang for your buck, I'd recommend trying more proven ways of protecting and increasing your collagen first. Preventing collagen from being destroyed in the first place is much easier and more effective than trying to repair your skin later. So make sure you wear a high UVA protection sunscreen daily. One study found that collagen gets damaged with about one-tenth of the UV that causes a sunburn. So not burning doesn't mean your skin isn't being damaged. Vitamin C is also great as an antioxidant for soaking up free radicals that cause sun damage. And it can also increase collagen as well. Vitamin A derivatives, known as retinoids, are the gold standard for increasing collagen in your skin, particularly tretinoin. Glycolic acid has been found to increase collagen in some studies as well. If you want to get more hardcore, chemical peels can increase collagen. So can laser and IPL light treatments. If you want to go super basic, you should make sure that your skin is adequately hydrated. Dehydrated skin is a really common cause of tired looking skin and it's very easy to fix. Look for serums and moisturizers with humectant ingredients that help your skin hold on to water, like glycerin and hyaluronic acid to plump up skin and hide wrinkles. That's all from me about collagen supplements. I'm sure there'll be more research soon on collagen that tells us more about whether or not it actually works. If you liked my video, I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more beauty-based science tips. You can also check out my blog for tons and tons of beauty science. See you next time.